Oh, just me again. Um, I'm about to do a triple needle bind off, so I thought I would just share it. I know I've done it before, but I'm getting better at titling my videos so they're easier to search. <laughs> so I'm only gonna be binding off two sections of 10 for the triple needle bind off as I bind off the back of the neck of my vest. So um, as you can see, here's one of the front little things and I'm gonna line that up and do a triple needle bind off. And then I'm gonna keep binding off normal until I get to the end of this one. And then I'll bring up this and finish with a triple needle bind off. So I'll have two little triple needle bind offs right here. Looks kind of crazy, but <laughs> um, I love a triple needle bind off. So it, the, it, the seam is perfect. It's, hi Shirley, you ready to learn a triple needle bind off? So easy, so easy. So um, before I turn the screen and get the selfie stick out, <laughs> um, I'm just gonna explain a couple more things. So for, for me, <laughs> once again, it's how I do it. So um, I, I always, or not always, I tend to, depending on the garment, I like to use a smaller needle. Hi, Marcy. I like to use a smaller needle. Now, side note, um, hi, Fran. Side note, uh, when I do cables, and I know I did cabling for you, Shirley, um, I use like a size two cable needle when I'm knitting with like size five, sixes, or sevens. I go down way far in needle size when I'm adding in something else. It just helps keep everything nice and tight. So um, I have my stitches on size sixes. I grabbed a size five DPN to work my triple needle bind off. When you see this, when I turn it around, it's going to look crazy. But what, I mean, the first one I did, I remembered telling myself to just pretend there was only one needle here. Now, um, I'm gonna get the selfie stick out and turn around and show you. I like to keep the needle closest to me a little shorter than the back one because I can see the front stitch better than the back stitch. Heaven forbid we drop one. We don't want that to happen. So, <laughs> um, I am going to turn this around and show you. So I've got 10 to do right here, 10 stitches to do with a triple needle bind off. Then I've got a handful of stitches. I'm just gonna keep going with a normal bind off. <laughs> and then the end will have uh, 10 more stitches that I'll do the triple needle bind off with. So hi guys, hi Amy, Melody, Christy. Get out my old uh, <laughs> professional tool. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to actually invest in some gadgets to hold my stuff. But until then, it's this. Okay, so let me make sure I'm little, so I have to cross my legs to keep it there. Okay, so I'm going to turn the screen, and we're just going to go to town. Now, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go slow, and then I'll whip through the regular bind-off part so that you can see both ends of the triple needle bind-off. Okay, let me flip the screen here. Here we go. Hi, Patty and Lisa and Janine. I always feel like I should share this stuff because I didn't have, I didn't have someone showing me this stuff all the time. Okay, so let me go a little higher. I feel like I'm a little too close there. Okay, so um, as you can see, I've turned it inside out. So, oh, here we go. I'm gonna flip the screen again. I, um, I also, whoa, that's close. <laughs> um, I have a square hat pattern that's published. Um, this is my favorite way to close something squared off or anything like that. So you always want to turn your garment inside out. Now, if you forget, it's okay, but I'm super OCD and you're going to have a little ridge. I like the little ridge to be on the inside because it brings each piece that you're like connecting into the most perfect crease. So you always wanna turn it inside out, always. Okay, so my garment is inside out, so here we go. Okay. Okay, so um, you're gonna, now, regardless of what you have, where your needles are, I mean, I have a couple circulars going and it probably looks a little chaotic to you, but it doesn't bother me. When I worked the front of the vest, I kept the front of the vest 
on the same set of circulars just so that I knew that they were safe. <laughs> so um, first you turn inside out and then you're gonna line up two needles. This, this is why it's called a triple needle bind off because this is your third needle. So um, I've got them, my stitches lined up. Now, as you can see, when I line these up, let me see if I got it, there we go. Um, when I line them up, I stagger them. Do you see how they're, oh, it's hard to look through the video. Do you see how they're kind of off by a little bit? That's because when I go in, maybe I do it this way. I've never, I think I've explained this a couple times. Maybe I do it this way. No, I don't. I do it like that. Okay, so um, I like to have, I already said this, but I like to have the back needle out a little further than the front one because I can see these stitches better than I can see these ones and I, I don't wanna lose a stitch. So this is just how I do it. You don't have to do it that way either. So um, a triple needle bind off, you're gonna go in this stitch, just like you're gonna knit it. Yes, I'm left-handed. And then you're also gonna go in this one, okay? So I've gone through both my first two stitches, okay? So, and then I'm just gonna simply knit. And then when you come through, Hopefully I don't, I'm trying to look at the screen and do this. So you just come through like you're knitting a single stitch. There it is. And then you slide both stitches off the two needles. Okay, so we've got one stitch there. And now every bind off, you start with knitting two and then sliding the one over the other. So I've got one here, I need to do it again. So you go in the first one. Can you guys see that okay? I'm hoping, hi Charmian. So you go in the first one. And in the second one, can you see my needle? Let me split it for you, there you go. So I'm in both stitches and then you simply knit and, and it, you just, it'll automatically come through both as if you're knitting one stitch. It's so easy and so cool, you guys. So there's the two. And then now, I mean, you might find it awkward. I'm used to it, but some, you know, until you get used to it, it might be awkward. So then you're gonna take that first one, slide it over that one. Okay, we started, there's one, one stitch is gone. And I'm just gonna keep going. So in both stitches, knit, slide it off, each one off of each needle, and then take this one, slide it over that last one. And then I'm just gonna keep going. So in both stitches, knit, slide the first one over the second one. Okay, so um, I think I'm just gonna whip through it here because I've got, I don't know if you guys, please tell me, do you wanna watch me go across the whole thing? I don't know how many, I think I have like 58 stitches or something here. I'm only doing a 10 stitch triple needle bind off, then I'm gonna do a normal bind off across the back neck of my sweater vest. And then at the very end, I'll do this same thing for the other front strip that I need to connect to the back. So this is a triple needle bind off, it's so easy. And wait till I get, you know what I'll do, as soon as I get through these 10, I'm gonna turn it right side out and I want you guys to see how perfect, professional and clean and neat this seam is on the outside view. Because we're, if you just chimed in, if you do a triple needle bind off, you want your uh, garment to be inside out so that the seam of this bind off is on the inside. Okay, two more here. Not easy to do looking uh, around the side of my phone. Okay, so one more here and then I'm gonna turn this inside out and show you how perfect the seam is. Okay, now watch. Let's not lose any stitches here. We're gonna go like this. Okay, now let me show you this. Okay, first of all, it is a very pretty edge on the inside as well. But if you look at it like this, I don't want that on the top of my thing. So I always do it inside out just to have a nice clean um, outside look. It looks like I took a sewing machine and seamed that. Look at that, look. And now if this was a solid colored yarn, you could, it would be more, you could be, you could see it more precisely. But I'm telling you, this is the most clean edge ever. Hi, Gay. And um, 
I, I recommend it on anything that you need to put together. It's just, it's, it's so professional looking. So I don't know that you guys want to watch me keep going because I have you know, 50 some stitches to get to over here again. Maybe I'll carry on for a second here. I've got so many needles going, I don't even know which one I'm using. Oh, this was the other one. Okay. So, and I also said, if you just chimed in, I, I tend to go down a needle size for a seam, not necessarily every bind off because you don't want them tight all the time. But I know this fits me because I just tried it on again and all that good stuff. So I'm just gonna work some bind off stitches quickly. And I'm also gonna stop and move this camera out of my face so I can actually go quickly. What time is it? I gotta pick a kid up from jujitsu. <laughs> okay, let me bust some of these out here. Anyway, if you're doing a purse or a square hat or anything like that, um, anything where there's a, a seam where you're joining two pieces together, um, it just makes for a very clean, pretty, really sharp, professional looking seam in my book. So yeah, this is a lot to bind off. I don't know if you guys want to stick, stick it out for like, 40 more stitches. And since no one's telling me to stop recording, I'm just going to keep going and I might forget you're there for a minute. Oh my God, I can't wait to wear this, you guys. Next is just um, fun ribbing that takes no time at all. Is this like watching paint dry yet? Um, if you guys just clicked in here, I did 10 stitches with a triple needle bind off and I have 10 more to do um, on the other end here. I don't know about you guys. So I, I bind off within my ribbing when I'm doing ribbing. So when I go around my armholes and do the V, I'll bind off within my ribbing. And I'm a thrower, obviously. When I purl, <laughs> I literally bring it forward and I purl. And then I bring it back before I slip that stitch because this is the most awkward thing on the planet to try to get that over. I don't know what you guys think about that, but I can't stand to have a, the yarn in the front for a bind off. So I'm getting there. We're close. And then I've got 10 more stitches to do for the triple knee to bind off. Pretty sure I'm wearing this tomorrow. I go so much quicker when, when the camera is not on my hands. It's crazy. Hang with me, I'm almost there. <laughs> And then you know I'm going to have to probably strip off my cowl and my long sleeve shirt because I have a tank top underneath. <laughs> and I'm going to have to try this on. Yeah, Fran, I just, it slows me down so much. The cuss words come out a lot more <laughs> if I try to keep the yarn in the front. It, I'm telling you that extra step of moving the yarn to the back, does, it, it actually saves me time. I go so much slower when my yarn's in the front for a pearl, pearl stitch. So um, I will take that tiny fraction of a second and whip the yarn behind my needles before I slide the stitch over. So much, so much quicker for me. Because um, when you're doing ribbing, binding off within your ribbing is so beautiful to me. And you guys know I pearl under my needle for that and it leaves the prettiest little edge. Hold on, we're getting close to 10 here. 510, look at that. Okay, so let me get, how do I wanna do that? Okay, so we're just ready. Okay, so did you see what, so the thought process there was, do I bind off one more and slide this over and start? So let me think about that. Um, see this, you guys, seriously, everything I do is different. So 
Um, it's in the pattern one way, but I'm not looking at it. So I think I'm going to do it this way. So there's just 10 there with that one bound off. Let's see, five, 10. Okay, so now I'm going to bring up my last. Once again, you want your stuff inside out. Look at this chaos. I've been knitting with these needles in there the whole time. Okay, so now I've got my 10 stitches for the front of my vest, the last 10, and I'm gonna line them up here. Um, I tend to stagger my stitches because I go in at a slant. So I like my stitches, and this one's just a little more spaced out because I already did a bind off on that one. But if you can see that, do you see all my stitches are staggered? I like it like that because I always insert my needle like that. So if you're right-handed, your tips will be facing the other way and you'll probably do it this way for all I know. <laughs> um, and I'll say it one more time about this. I like my back needle to stick out a little further for security because I can see these stitches better than I can see these ones when I'm in the middle of it. So, okay, here we go. So triple needle bind off one more time. We're gonna do 10 stitches. So you go in your first stitch on your first needle. Whoa. I can't see very good right where I'm at. Okay, so in this one and then in the next one, okay? So I've got my needle through both the first stitches on both both needles there. And then you just simply knit it. And, and I'm telling you, when you do this, it, it doesn't feel like, it just feels like I'm holding a bigger needle up here and I'm just knitting one stitch. So that's how I do that. And then you slide those two both off and then we're just gonna carry on. So in this first stitch, on this needle and on the back needle. See that? I'm through both stitches. And then you just simply knit, slide them off, and then slide your first stitch over your last stitch, and then keep going. So I'm almost done here. Oh my gosh, my sweater vest. Oh my gosh, all I have to do is ribbing you guys. I am so excited to wear this. And I'm just gonna say this. Everybody's like, oh yeah, the sweater vest is cute on you. No, here's the deal. I read an article recently, I don't know where I saw it, but it was pertaining to cropped sweaters, and in this case, sweater vests, um, are actually a great thing for all body types because you want it to be the, you want that bottom hem of it to land at the smallest part of your waist. So um, it's very flattering on all body types. And then when you have like a blouse underneath, that's longer it's just so cute on anybody on any body type so there you have it <laughs> i think everyone should have one of these you'll see because i'm going to be putting on an outfit and you'll see what i mean okay three left here you know i think the article was about andrea mowry's new cropped sweater now that I think about it. Okay, last one. Gets a little slippery, I've got ends everywhere. Okay. Oh, oh, see, my back needle is further back. That's what happens, you lose a stitch. So be careful. <laughs> I'm kind of glad that just happened. Okay, so last stitch here. Voila, okay, now my vest is done, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Hold on, okay, I'm not flipping the screen yet until I cut this and put this through here. Hold on, hold on. Oh, I love that last cut when you're done. Don't you just, isn't that so satisfying? Okay, so let me turn this right side out. I'm dying to see it. Oh my. Okay, so here's another OCD thing. Um, depending on when I do a bind off, that last stitch where I'm ready to cinch this, it do, if it's a shawl, I do a certain thing. If it's a hat, I do a certain thing. It all depends on where, if, where I want this to hide. So since I turn my garment inside out, I'm going to cinch back on this. But when I, when I do a bind off on like the end of a shawl, I bring it way back here and cinch and it pulls it all nice and tight like that. But I don't want this little knot that happens to be on the outer edge of that. So on this in this instance here with this, I'm just going to cinch underneath. Oh my gosh, you guys, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I am. Hold on, hold on. 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, now check out. Check out the triple needle bind offs. Look at how perfect those little seams are, you guys. Look at that. It is so perfect. So perfect. And there it is. <laughs> I can't wait to do the ribbing. Okay, that, that's it. That was the needle bind off. Um, you should try it if you haven't. I, I am totally doing a felted bag soon. I haven't said anything about it yet, but I am. And there will be some triple needle bind offs in there. That's how I like to attach handles and the corners and bottoms of things. So um, I highly recommend a triple needle bind off and I gotta go get a kid from jujitsu. So there is the sweater vest. And now I just have ribbing to do. So, um, yay! <laughs> That's all I got, you guys. See ya.